Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, it's gonna be just a really simple, just talking to the camera in the office kind of a video. If you like these, let me know um, down below. And I just wanted to cover a couple things, starting off with the new Ford Mustang that was announced, which is really, really cool. They've got a couple different variants, including the Dark Horse um, Mustang. It's gonna be a V8. It's gonna have a manual transmission, which is super cool. Um, you know, highest horsepower five liter coyote as far as the base model goes as well um which is super super cool uh, there'll probably be some videos of me uh, scrolling through the site here doing whatever um it looks super cool you know they have drift brakes on here you can even rev it from the key fob which was really really cool i saw some of that stuff looks like there'll be some really cool customizations the interior has got this really cool digital dash um and engage cluster which looks really really cool the one thing i really did like was the um seats it actually looked really cool i don't know why but it reminded me of a gtr just how the seats looked i don't know if that was just me or if that was anyone else um and the one thing that i noticed was that it really at least to me it really looked like a camaro from the back side of the car um, it just really, really looks like Camaro to me. I'm looking at this picture right now. I'll pull it up on screen for you guys. It looks, I'm not, I mean, and it's not a bad thing. I think it's totally fine, but it really looks like a Camaro to me from that like kind of rear three quarters angle or even just straight looking at it head on from the back. I think it really looks like a Camaro, which once again is not a bad thing. I think it's just the way that the, the hips kind of of the car um, are molded it just really looks like a Camaro so that's really cool and that was in the news in the past week or so and, and that was something really cool to see that we've got a manufacturer that is going complete opposite of what everyone else is doing right they're doing manual they're doing a V8 um, and they're not really going that electric route which I think is really really cool electric cars are cool and all but having something like this available and out there is really really cool I don't know if I would ever get one personally just being honest I think it looks really cool maybe in the future i'd get a higher horsepower variant um you know i don't i don't know what the lineup's going to be and i'm not a huge mustang guy i just thought it was really really cool and it was something that i really wanted to share with you all um, the next thing is just a really quick update on what's going on with me and my corvette and the mod situation that i got going on so um if you weren't aware if you didn't know i'm getting my c8 modded i'm getting a couple of mods added on um we're going to be getting a uh, ported manifold and throttle body we're going to be getting and we're also going to be getting headers from american racing headers there may or may not be some small extras like maybe a full out cold air intake and then later down the road an exhaust but immediately like within the next month that should be happening it was actually supposed to be happening last weekend um but the part for the headers that they thought was available for my car actually ended up being only usable for a coupe model, not the convertible. I have a convertible, so we couldn't use that one, which sucks, but it's not the end of the world, so we ordered it, and American Racing Headers produces the headers in batches, so I was at the tail end of the last batch. Um, I had to wait for the, I'm waiting pretty much for the new batch to be made and shipped, and I think last we checked, it was around two weeks out, so we'll see. I'm really excited for that because I wanna add more power to my car make it really unique, the sound will be a little bit different, and I can't wait to bring that to you guys on the channel as well. So that's gonna be really, really cool, and I'm really excited for that. Now, speaking of Corvette stuff, I wanted to share with you guys some news for the 2023 Z06, because it's, you know, same car as mine, just Z06, so it's very different, it's not the same thing. Um, but a couple of really interesting things that have came out in the past couple of weeks. One, which is really unfortunate, I actually saw a lot of um, car enthusiasts and a lot of their orders get canceled and pulled because um, I think GM is no longer accepting allocations for the rest of this year. So it's kind of put on hold. There's no more allocations being given out. Um, that, that's kind of been maxed out for this year and it'll reopen up again at some point next year in 2023. I'm not sure when that's going to be, but what really sucked, at least when I saw it, and we all knew that there was going to be a lot of problems. It's not going to be super cut and dry with the Z06 with everything going on. But what really sucked when I saw um, is a really big YouTuber that I know of at least, Street Speed 717 his stuff just got completely pulled. His Z06 did not, um, it, he had an order in for I think the longest time 
and his just got pulled. He was just one of the lucky unfew, which I think is crazy because he, he's been a huge advocate for Corvettes. He's got, he's had almost every single one. I know he has a cool ZR1 right now and he's had a C8 uh, Stingray. So that was just something really annoying to see. And I'm sure there were, I hope there's not many more problems with it. I'm personally not getting one. I filmed a video uh, a little while ago on my channel explaining why I'm not gonna get one. But just in kind of summary, um, at least from my opinion, I think that I would rather keep my Stingray, mod it, make it you know a worthy competitor of the Z06, just a modded Stingray versus base Z06. And then from there, um, I'm gonna be saving up to get a McLaren or something of similar caliber, right? So um, if you guys have any recommendations besides, I'm looking at McLaren uh, 600LT, maybe 720S, um, 911 Turbo S, or even a GT3. That would GT3 RS would be awesome. And this is a couple years down the line. I'm going to be using my C8 a lot. Um, so yeah, that's, that's that with the C8 Z06. And the last really quick thing that I wanted to cover and talk about is the Dodge Challenger, the electric one, the Banshee, uh, which actually came out, got revealed a couple of weeks ago, but that was something really cool to see. Um, I'll pull up some pictures and whatnot of everything here, but it was, it was very, very unique. I think the actual look and styling of it looks really cool. Just reminds me of something like out of Cyberpunk. Um, but what was really weird was like the revving. Um, and I think it's, it's cool because it's different and it's new. I, don't, I can't really speak to anything of what I think of it just because I haven't heard it in person. But it's definitely weird. But I'm all for something that's different. Um, and because it's cool, that, that makes it cool to me at least. That's what I think. Um, if something's different, it doesn't mean it's horrible, it doesn't mean it sucks, I think it's just different. I don't think it's the most ideal thing in the world, I don't love it. I don't think a lot of e other people love it either, it just doesn't really make sense. It's like electric car and revving and noise don't really go together very well. Like you can make that propulsion noise as you're like putting your foot down on the throttle, you get that propulsion inside of the cabin of the car. But on the outside, I just don't think that's really a thing. They were trying to do something different, I get it, it's pretty cool. Um, but I'm curious to see what it actually sounds like. So that's everything I have for today. I just wanted to make a really short update video, kind of share some car news that I've been seeing. Um, I'd love to just hear what you guys think. I think the Mustang looks really, really cool. That new Dark Horse variant is awesome. Um, it's the you know, strongest five liter Coyote engine put in a Mustang, um, as far as like that, that base area model, I'm pretty sure. Um, I think the interior looks really, really cool, and it's awesome that it's coming in a manual. That's so cool. And then that remote rev function is super cool. So let me know if you guys would be thinking about picking up one of these. I think they're really cool. I don't think I'm going to be getting one. Um, I want to save up for, like I said, Porsche GT3, uh, GT3 RS, McLaren, Lamborghini, stuff like that. I just really want to save up for something like that. And then on top of that, use my current C8 to just mod it out, enjoy it, and have a good time with it. So. Um, that's pretty much everything for today's video, short and sweet, but if there's, there's actually a question here I have for everyone, and besides cars, I run a business online, um, and I do that full time, I've been doing that since 2018, um, and I like a lot of other stuff besides just cars. I love gaming, I build Legos, like you can see there's some Legos back there that I'm working on um, in my free time, and we got a ton of them here on the bookshelf. Um, I think more so the you know gaming and tech side of stuff, I really love that. If you guys would like to see more of that content where you know I'm gaming on new games, I'm gonna be doing it anyway in my free time. And if you want me to be talking and commentating, not necessarily about the game, but maybe about business life, kind of like podcast style, but you're watching a game instead of just looking at me, um, let me know if you'd be interested in something like that. Probably be talking about anything and everything. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about the Mustang, the Banshee, the mods that are being done on my Stingray, and then anything else, uh, Z8, uh, C8, Z06, and I'll see if I can cover it in a future video. I'll talk to you guys soon. Wanted to put this out there as a kind of in-between spot before we mod my C8, which I'm really excited for, um, and have a great rest of your week. I'll see you guys in the next one.